We're going to go back in time today to 2012 and check out one of my first off-the-wall projects that I did, which was a thousand-pound concrete arch in our backyard that spans nine or ten feet, and we made it out of concrete because here in Michigan, where I live, we don't have that many rocks. We have a lot of things that used to be rocks, but now they're gravel and sand because the glaciers came over top and, and ground everything up. But we got the Great Lakes and a lot of other lakes in exchange, so I'm not complaining too much. For our purposes though, we had to build a mold and cast some blocks. So let's take a look at that process. I wanted the blocks to fit together without mortar, so it seemed easiest to simply make one large mold and avoid some of the accumulated error issues that you might have with using a single one. And you can also just trash the mold at the end and it really doesn't matter. So we started by just laying it out here, life size with pink sidewalk chalk, which is what was handy. And you can see the center of the arch there and just sort of the general outline. It couldn't be on a strictly horizontal surface because it needs something to to rest against on the side, like the abutments, whatever you call them for an arch. And after that, we ripped some OSB down, approximated the shape, since it's the actual one's a curve, obviously, and just started nailing it together with some 18-gauge nails. All they needed to hold was long enough for the concrete to cure and started working our way around, you can see, until we get around here and we have the whole mold in place. It's pretty big. It spans 9 or 10 feet. I think they were 12 inches high. And then we put some plastic under it here. After the mold's done, it's time to mix up some concrete. So we just break out the wheelbarrow and some quick read and get to work. I have discovered in the interim time between this project and now the virtues of an actual mortar hoe with the hole in the center and it is helpful but we're making it work here. We bring that concrete over and we use it to fill up the mold vibrating it to get it down in there. Some of these I actually did put a little bit of XPS foam in the center. Not very much but I figured it would save a little bit of weight since each one pushing a cubic foot is, is pretty pretty heavy. Concrete is about 150 pounds per cubic foot. Time to start assembling the arch. Obviously for this one we needed some way to hold it up in the meantime, which is called centering. I didn't feel like building a great big wood contraption to keep everything up, so we just piled up the sand. Sand has the disadvantage, obviously, of being very flexible and moving out of the way, but we piled it up pretty good. Another non-obvious challenge with building this project is that the blocks have to stay in the same plane. And since they're end faces are not parallel if you rotate them slightly they'll go in they'll go out of that plane and the starting face that the first block sits on was two other blocks that we we put in the sand and uh, compacted it pretty well and those have to be at just the right angle and just the right distance aim towards each other each other and you you can't measure directly between them because there's a giant pile of sand in the way so we ended up having to do some indirect measuring, which came back to bite us at the end, but we got it pretty close. Then again, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, as my dad would say. The center block ended up being a little bit too big. Not by much, but still too big for the center there. Shifting out the base pieces wasn't really worth it, and trying to trim the original piece was also kind of impractical since it was so thick. The moment of truth is here. It's time to remove the centering and see if it holds itself up. Since this process took a while, we're going to go into special high speed mode here. Sand may not be quite as dense as concrete, but it's still pretty heavy, so it took a few minutes to get everything cleared out of the way. Things were looking pretty promising at this point since the sand hadn't collapsed even after we cleared away its supports from the side. Normally that would crush down, but it was just sitting there almost as if it was holding only its own weight. A little more digging and it became pretty clear that it was holding its own weight up, so we cleared out the rest and it seemed like we need some sort of cel celebratory gesture, so I decided to, to uh, go under it. <laughs> now that the arch was in place, we wanted to give it a sleek, modern aesthetic, so we raked the sand down all nice and flat. All in all, the arch stayed up for a week. You can see that it did settle a little bit there with some gaps developing, but it was very stable. You could wobble it back and forth, and the only reason it lasted a week is because we knocked it down at the end of it. 
Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, of course. We have some future projects coming up, and those are going to be more lumber-oriented. I just thought I'd share this one because it was a fun one, and it did involve wood a little bit. So, see you next time.